Hey everybody, Ryan Whedon here. I am so excited for this week's episode. In this video series, we finally tackle how to touch up gray and balayage in one step. This incredible time-saving technique is a total win-win. Your clients will love it because they'll be in the salon less, and you'll make more money because you're combining two services in one. Our model today is a client of mine that comes in regularly for root touch-ups. About every third or fourth service, we add balayage like we're going to do today. We're going to start by mixing her base color, which is a natural level 6. According to manufacturer's instructions, we're going to use 20 volume to ensure we get full gray coverage. Next, we're going to add in our bond support, which is Brazilian Bond Builder. B3 also helps to limit the burn and irritation at the scalp. Here's my simple setup for the tray for the root touch-up. Bowl, brush, gloves, and clips. Next, we'll drape our client with a towel to protect her clothes and secure it with a clip. Starting our application in the back, paint a section perimeter line from the crown through the nape. First, we are going to outline our four sections. Next, paint the perimeter from the crown to behind the ear on the left side. Grab the hair in the back with a clean hand to open up the nape hairline and paint. Twist and elevate the hair in the front section to make it easy to paint along the hairline. Work the product cleanly around the section up to the natural part. Continue around the perimeter at the top. Continue painting the perimeter on the opposite side. In the back, twist the section of hair up and paint the nape hairline. Repeat the same technique for the front section. Now with the four sections outlined, we start applying the root color to the back left section from the nape up through the crown. Moving up in approximately eighth of an inch at a time, apply the product. Hold the entire section of hair securely in your clean gloved hand, pulling out sections from the bottom as you work up. This keeps the hair dry and organized. Repeat the same pattern of application on the opposite back section. As you move to the front section, start your parting on a slight angle to match the hairline and sideburn area. Work up through the section in horizontals, holding the hair out of the way, pulling out sections from the bottom. This method of root application keeps the mid lengths and ends clean and dry, perfect for adding balayage directly after. Repeat the same technique on the opposite front side. Here you can see our completed root application. Keep special notice to how clean and untouched the mid lengths and ends are. Once the root application is complete, set your timer according to your brand's recommendation for gray coverage processing. While the root color is processing, it's time to mix up our balayage lightener. Today we are using Wella Blondor. 
Here, we will create two different strengths of formula, one with 20 volume and one with 30 volume. We'll also add in our bond support for added protection when decolorizing. Stir the product up, mixing to consistency. For this application, we like a looser texture. To distinguish between each of our lightning formulas, we will use two different colored brushes. Here is our tray set up for the balayage. Lightener, clips, foil, and foiling teasing comb. Starting on the model's right front side, take a horizontal parting at the low recession. Place a long foil on the opposite side, using the root color at the natural part to hold it in place. Lay the bulk of the hair over top. Take a large weave through the bottom section. Tease the hair all the way to the root. Don't worry if it pushes a little bit into the base color. Next, take a long foil and place it underneath. Because we want extra brightness around the face, we are using our 30 volume lightener. Saturate the section thoroughly, feathering up at the top. Avoid dragging the lightener into the base color, as this could create unwanted warmth. Secure the foil carefully in place. Take another horizontal parting about an inch above. Slice it in half and tease the hair. As we move into the longer sections, first paint the lightener onto the foil. This will act as a glue to hold the hair in place. Start applying the lightener with 30 volume, followed by the lightener with 20 volume at the bottom. Feather on the product at the top as needed. Fold the foil first to cover the ends keeping it safe from mixing with the higher volume above. Continue to move through the section in the same manner. Continue working all the way through to the natural part in horizontal sections. As we approach the top layers, you'll notice how more of the hair is lightened. Because so, we will start with our lightener and 20 volume so we don't create excess damage to the hair. For the last section of hair at the natural part, we are going to take a medium weave. Tease the weaved hair and apply the product as you have previously. Moving to the opposite side now, we are going to mirror what we just did. Once both front sides are complete, take a fine hairline slice and paint on the lightener.
For a strong money piece, take a slightly wider section directly behind tees and paint. With the front half complete, we move to the back section. Starting on the model's back left side, take your first slight diagonal back section parallel to the ear. Tease the hair like you've done previously and paint on the product. Feather the lightener up to blend. Keep in mind that teasing removes about 50% of the hair, so it's okay to take larger sections. The goal is to be left with a section to paint that is fairly lightweight and see-through. Before moving into the crown veil section, repeat the same technique and pattern on the opposite side. Do your best to match the partings on the previous side. This will give you a more consistent feel overall. Once you get to the crown veil section, gather all the hair together. Take a horizontal parting directly across. Take a slice out of the top and tease the section. Apply the lightener with 30 volume at the darker mid lengths and the lightener with 20 volume on the lighter ends. On the last section at the top of the crown, like we did on the model's natural hairline, take a medium weave. Tease the hair and paint on the lightener. We are now done with our application. Once the roots are finished processing, check the balayage foils. Once they reach a gold or pale yellow, they are ready to rinse. After toning and styling, here is our finished result. A beautiful, refreshed, lived-in balayage look. I hope you enjoyed this episode, Balayage Meet Gray. Please leave questions and comments below.